going on guys? Welcome back. It's episode 23 of the EAFC crew mode. What a run for Luton Town, man. Seriously, no losses in our last 12 in all competitions. Best run of form to save so far. And now, returning today, Liverpool at home in the top five and possibly could go into a Champions League place. But we've got some big games coming today. We're going to try and get through as many as possible. Starting with the Reds, the only undefeated side in the Premier League. This is a real test to keep our unbeaten run going. Come on, Luton Town. Got a battle of the uh, top two scorers in the league in this one as well. Adebayo versus Gakpo. So a good little, good little battle there. I love like individual duels in, in football games. You know what I mean? Like when the, uh, the top two... Of a uh, of a statistic, go head to head, or maybe there's like a clash of like titan, like goalkeepers or something. I don't know. I, just, I, I love that sort of thing. And this is gonna be a tough one here against the Reds again. Only undefeated side in the league has been an amazing start. Don't get me wrong, but this this is gonna be a real test. Cody Gakpo, how wide to Luis Diaz already? The the passing so crisp, and Salah does open the score. I knew this was gonna be a tough one to start off today, man. Only undefeated side in division. We'll do well to get a point out of this. Already a goal down. Throw. Luton still down by a goal. As we look to patiently find that opening, which you might get here down the flank. Duke flicks it onto himself. Gets away from Endo. And a bow's in the middle. Long, surely. Oh, what a block, Van Dyke. You know, I saw it. It was released on a free. And Liverpool just picked him straight back up again. It's Jashiri goes for Jashari, sorry, goes for goal for two wide. That's crazy, man. That's like when Paul Skulls retired and then Sir Alex put him back out of retirement. Clock for it, probably thought Van Dyke was done. And then he calls him up again a month later and says, no, 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 no. Come on, we're going to need you for the new year. And so far, it's paying off, mate. It's still undefeated. Manic. Throws it back to Muric. No, Peter Enkelman, please. There we go. And let's work our way forward. Ballard to Duke. Oh, my God. My passing in this game has been shocking, man. Ten minutes to go. This might be it. You know, Salah, Gakpo set up the first. And sets up the second. The top scorer, a turning provider. Nicola Barella wraps it. Game over. Yeah. Undefeated run was going to end at some point. Can't go much longer than 12 because that was the longest of the save there. Head up, boys. Head up. We, we've been overperforming anyway to start the season off. And these guys are undefeated. So you can't, can't be too critical after that. Yep, little life lesson for my young kings and queens out there watching this. If you've given your all but you've just been beaten by someone better, don't dwell on it, man. Just take the lessons from that loss and move straight on to your next battle. And that's what we're going to do. Following game, Leicester away, King Power. Let's bounce back to three points here. Life is grueling, it's tough, you're going to lose a lot, it's just how it goes, you can't win all the time. But again, I, I love that saying, there are no losses in life, only lessons to learn. And as long as you, uh, you take them into your next battle, you'll be in good stead for it as well. As Adebayo is denied early. And the lesson I need to take from that last game is that we weren't aggressive enough. Got to go out there and be a lot more assertive. Mendes. To... Duke, he's done well there, and Cox, great first touch, and a bio takes, and gets away from Wout Fez, and away he goes down left-hand side here, back to Duke, Re oh, oh, he's on there, Cox, oh, and I just didn't get the angle of the chip for us, okay, no, it's alright, but again, this, this is what I didn't do against Liverpool, I didn't start off aggressive, I was, was, oh, an orthodox save from Hermansen, but good to get another shot on target. I was just a little bit too slow and passive in the early stages. No, stand up to him. Stand up to whoever you're facing. Adam Boyo! Luton down lead, and Elijah gets it in again. Seventh for the year now for Elijah. We gave him that big contract extension, the big wage increase, just to keep him happy and keep him here, most crucially. Worth every single penny. Question is now, can we defend? Up you get Mendes well in, mate. I'm liking him, I must say. I'm liking him a lot. Is it the Pepe region? I'm not too sure, but to be fair, as much as Balar was great last year, I think he and Malik are looking like our favourite CB duo at the moment. And away we go again here. Adebayo. Duke has just turned Walfaze inside out. And gets a second. Tune it up, much more aggressive. We took the lessons from the loss and we're paying off. We took the loss, we took the lessons from it 
and it paid off in the following game. Like I said, don't dwell on it. Just put it right in the next one. Two nil away at the King Power. Back to winning ways. And as we now enter December, we're going to stop here for the uh, for the scouting. But I want to I want to see where we are now because we're, we're effectively a third of the way through the season now. Thirteen games, um, and right now still in a European place. I mean, listen, there there is a long way to go, but. Our goal scoring has improved a little bit from last season. Not much by a little bit, but the defense continues to be so impressive. Only nine conceded in 13. I was going to lose Kilman, but Malik's just as good, if not better. And as for the scouting guys, unfortunately, not a single one making it from December's crop. He could be quite good, to be fair. Carlos Castillo. It'll take, a, it'll take a long time. He's a giant in at six foot seven. But uh, the overall is quite low, so I'm going to just continue scouting for now. So at the moment, I'm, I'm still waiting for an Ecuadorian. I'm sure one's coming. I, I, I'm sure one's going to come through, but for now, still still waiting. Still got some class players in the academy. You know, Max Malinowski, double M. Potential's not great, but already 69 rated. Same with Johan Johansson as well. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had anyone from Ecuador just yet, but we've got a couple of Ghanaians in there, a couple more English players from this year too, and uh, it's the academy's still looking really solid to be fair. Right, let's crack on. Uh, next up, Wolves coming to Kenilworth Road as Kaminsky returns to Luton Town, heading into this one against Gary O'Neill's side. Getting another big three points here, and we might actually enter the top four, but let's, let's just keep it calm. Yeah. Drake said it best. I mentioned it in the last episode. Don't get hyped for the moment and start to back pedal. So just keep it calm. All it takes is two or three losses on the bounce and then suddenly all that momentum, all that progress, it's gone down the drain. So got to remind myself of that. Oh, long. What a touch. And keep going, mate. The pace this guy's got, the agility, the balance. And does he have the end product yet as a young man? He does. And a boy, what a block. Bueno sticks a right leg out and blocks a certain goal. Uh, finishes goalless in the end. Not a, not a great result, but fans already fuming. Lads, are you kidding me? Now, we're not even halfway through and we're in a European place. You ungrateful fans. Seriously, I don't want to see you back when we make Europe because it's coming. We're going to get there one day. I don't want to see you back when that happens. Yep, might not be next season, might not even be the season after that, but at some point we will be in Europe. And I remember those fans booing me there. I think I had two losses in 14, guys. I'm grateful. Right, following game, Wednesday night, Chelsea away. And whilst the fans might not like it, I'll take another 0-0. Good work. Ukrainian, back to Parejo. And, uh, oh, man, that is one of those AI on ultimate goals, man. I don't know how much you can hear me back here because I'm slumped to the back of my seat right now, but that is just absolutely ridiculous. You can't, you can't stop those. Do you know what I mean? Like I've conceded a few of them in this save, and, and like, what, what can you do there? Do you know what I mean? What can, can I do? What can Murich do? What can anyone do? Short sure, time, could tackle that, and a chance for a quick breakaway here because there's a blue shirt on the floor, and Barkley takes over and finds Danny Loder. Can we... Oh, I'm going to have to slow it down here. Can we find an opening in the late stages to rescue a point here? It's a good ball through to Shola. Oh, short tie. Brilliant. Ah! Oh, and Sven Botman just about does enough. That's probably the only chance we'll get now between now and the end of the game. So, on. a great dribbling from short tie. Just couldn't feed it through. Ah, oh, it's going now. It's such a great late chance. Just couldn't take it. But once again, one of those games we trail... And we just can't get back into it. That's our biggest problem, man. Once we go behind, we never look like finding a leveller. Once again, again, we failed to score. And yeah, the, the honeymoon period for Luton is definitely over, man. Just one win in, again, six, I think, now. Still, you've got to take our own advice, right? Put it past you. Take the lessons from the loss and move on to the next one. Where we take on Brentford at Kenilworth Road. Where David Ray is back at the P's. You love to see it. Yeah, it's not the first time I've actually seen that in this save. I mean, actually, someone pointed this out in the comments. Now, this was way back at the start of the save, so I'm going back here. I'll see if I can find a comment again. But uh, when we first faced Manchester United, someone spotted this. I didn't see it initially, but Chris Smalling had returned to Manchester United. I like that a lot, man, because you see that a lot nowadays in modern-day football. And, uh, and fair play, you know, players going back to their... Uh, they're all clubs. I mean, we've got, we, you know, we've got Kiernan. We've got Kiernan in our team this season. You never know. Maybe next year. we have Charlie Bettino and, uh, and James Justin, perhaps. As we uh, pass our way forward. 
And look for a response in this game here. Duke into Adebayo. And our first chance might fall early. Can he slide through Duke? He can. Oh, great touch. He's put on Say Samuel on the floor. It's Duke who must finish. And Rhea gets a touch. And oh, no. Oh, it was on the turn, to be fair. He didn't see the goal behind him, but... Shouldn't have even put myself in that position, man. Head up. Head up, Duke. You want us a lot more games, you lost us, mate. Oh, we're in trouble here. Ballard came out. Lost the battle of strength. Rafamir through the gap. Oh, brilliant finish. Honeymoon period is definitely over, man. An amazing start to the season, but this is going to be another disappointing game. <laughs> I don't know why I struggled so hard to say loss. But uh, it was plenty of time. Plenty of time. But yeah, we're starting to look second best now. But this is why, and I've mentioned this before, like form is so overpowered in CM. When you're in amazing form, you feel like you can go to the burn about, win comfortably with, with any team you're managing. But when you're in bad form, it's just an absolute slog. And we are in it right now. That's why consistency and good form is so, so integral to a winning career mode season. And Bio finds Cox. Basuma shutting him down. He's done well there, Coxie. And can he get away from Tavares on the turn? Yes, he can. And uses Gabriel as a screen. He'll find Adebayo. Bang! Top scorer with another back on level terms. Elijah with the equaliser. Great finish. Ballard. Out wide. Oh. Was Ryan Giles. But the pass was poor. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Mendes. Turns provided this time. But soon would have finished. And Brentford back in front. They're, they're pressing so high up the pitch. And I... Look, we're a pass out from the back team. That is my play style. But occasionally, if you get it wrong, you're in deep trouble. Especially against the AI on ultimate. All right. We came back once. We can do it again. We came back once. We can do it again. Yes, one in Keenan. And now Duke. Back to him. He's Cox. He feeds around a bio. He can. Oh, what a save. David Rea. Sounds strange to say it. But the ex-Arsenal goalkeeper with the stop. And showing why Brentford brought him back to the G-Tech. Brilliant save. And we're 19 minutes away from yet another big loss. And just one win. And again, I think seven. Oh! They get a five-man switch in the final seven minutes. Might as well just empty the bench here. So we can possibly sneak away with a, uh, a point against Brentford. And something, anything. There's Duke. Finds out a bio. Oh, what a save. And yes, Duke. Mama Duke with the leveler. Mr. Citarelli. But this is why you back your boy. He'll come good. And he's done it to death. Pick your boy up, man. Like, seriously, if he's, if he's just had an embarrassing moment, pick him up. Send him a text. Give him some confidence. Restore that self-belief. Mr. Sitter at the beginning comes up clutch with a level at the end. Duke to the rescue. He's his first goal of the season as well. And Luton should, should escape with a point. Or maybe even all three. Oh no, I should have gone with the underlap, not the overlap. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, we could have had zero. We've got one, all right? God damn it, I should have gone with the underlap there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 Murich. What a game. What a game. I'm breathless, mate. That was brilliant, man. That was fantastic. Fans aren't happy about it. But, guys, you definitely got your money's worth there. So, winless run continues. But, did well to get a point out of that. That was, a tough, that was so fun to play, though. I say it a lot, but it's great when you have a big win, you know, 3, 4, 5, nil. But those games are so fun. And just before our following game, Old Trafford, Manchester United away. Uh, speaking of late goals, man, what a turnaround for them yesterday. With uh, the golden boy, Scott McTominay. I love him, man. Uh, scoring that brace to win it. Um, Nakamba, Barkley, Anog Bene, all out of contract on the end of the season. I know so many of you are saying, Docs, please give Barkley another one year. That like, please, he's he's not getting as much game time now. He's he's obviously not the same player, but I 
I, I think dressing room presence, give him one more year. What was formerly the first name on the team sheet is now accepting a rotation squad start as well. And you've, you've got you've got to respect that. When a player knows his role as he comes towards the end of his career. And he's willing to take a pay cut as well. This is why Barkley stays with us, man. He loves Luton Town. Luton loves the boss. Ross Barkley, number one year for the boss. Right, next up, Manchester United away. We've actually got the Carragher quarterfinal against Arsenal in midweek. So we could really do have a good result here to stem the flow heading into that last state clash in the cup there. So let's see if we can get a point in this one. But a, a win would be huge and much needed. One thing we've got to do is be aggressive and be more assertive against the big teams. You know, against Liverpool we lost, against Chelsea we lost, against Arsenal we lost as well. But... You know, we, we, we can beat these guys. We've done it before. We can do it again. Oh, what a strike, Mason Mount. Man, the honeymoon phase is well and truly over. Can't relate. Can't relate, guys. You know, 31 next month. Still single. If, anyone, uh, if anyone's curious about the uh, developments with the Ecuadorian, it's, uh, it's, it's non-existent. Uh, still being left on red. I'm not going to say how many times. Um, so... <laughs> Can't relate to any honeymoon period ever even occurring in my life, let alone ending. Oxford to Anthony. And he's tackled by Williams with a chance for a breakaway here because Cox is onto her. And with Nicholas Saul in that Manchester United back line, this should be where we really push the pace here and look to exploit the German because there's no way you'd be able to deal with the pace we've got coming forward, including with Gabriel Long. Either side of Onana. And it's surely 1-1. One, one. Oh, so Just about gets away with it. Sancho. Oh, what a ball. What a ball by Jaden Sancho. He's just threaded that needle like my my nan used to with the uh, with the thread. I mean, obviously going through the needle. I don't, I don't know why I need to explain that because <laughs> the clue's in the name. Even so, Murich. Two minutes on the clock. Luton looking for a late level like they got against Brentford. It's Adebayo. It's Cox. It's a lovely bit of skill, but the pass isn't there, and it's it's cut out. The honeymoon period is over. Another loss, and the run continues. Red Devils get the three points. Luton can't buy a win. And to be honest, I don't fancy our chances of bouncing back in the next one. Not in this kind of form. Arsenal away in the Carrick quarterfinals. Don't well to get here, but uh, I think our progress has ended tonight in North London. Got a strong team, though. We'll see what we can do. This is, uh, this is the sort of form we're uh, more used to, if you will. You know, the, the run was nice, but it was a bit uncomfortable because we're not used to this sort of stuff, you know. There's Ogbené sends Pelly on the way. To be fair, he's in behind Quentin Merlin, and he's going to need a teammate in the middle. And if nothing else, he gained some yards, but it's, oh, man, he's not really a, a winger, is he? <laughs> Pelly, Rodder, and But someone is, is Callum O'Hare. And Luton oh, should have had the lead. Off the woodwork and Ramsdale pounces on the loose ball. Won't get many better chances than that. Just couldn't squeeze it in. But a very impressive start. We've got a decent team out there. You know, obviously a few changes, yes, but still quite a strong lineup. And even in poor form right now, I, I respect this a lot. You know, even when you're struggling, you're still picking yourself up, you're dusting yourself off, and you're going out there and doing the best you can. That's resilience right there, and that's the sort of thing I really respect, man. Once again, a life lesson's dropping today. We're young kings and queens, honestly. Those tough times that make you a resilient person, and Lord knows in today's world, you need to be resilient. Galini, great save in a very action-packed start here. Aziz denied again. O'Hare has a man in support in Danny Loder, and he'll give it back to Callum. And can I get it out? Yeah, there we go. Right, just give me a second, please, guys. Just, just a sec. Yes! Oh, Ben A! Play for an extension! Gives us the lead in North London! There we go, mate. Yep, well in load up. And get out on the deck, please. Well done, Oh, Ben A. Having a stormer out there today. And as Barkley gets away, can he send it over the top? Now, Oh, Ben A is rapid. So if he does get away. Danny Loder for two! Second time at the post tonight, man. We could be freeing it up. This might be the last chance Arsenal get. There's three minutes on the clock. 
as we look to hold on to a massive win to end our poor run and put us into the semis, which seemed improbable before the game kicked off, but it will be a deserved place in the Final Four as Leandro does enough, Masraoui, Jesus, Jorginho, Gabriel, what a block! And... No, 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 no! Yes! 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 What a win! Looted into the semis for the first time in the save! More than deserved as well! What a win! Absolutely buzzing with that, man. Like, we, we deserved that. It was a scrappy 1-0 scrape through. We hit the post twice in the game, man. We deserved that, and we are into the semi-finals. First time we reached the final four in the save. Yes, it's the Carabao, not the FA Cup, but we are still going to take it. So, every game played on the same night, and the draw for the semis will see Luton Town in the final four take on... Spurs! Home and away, of course. Two-legged affair in the Carabao Cup. And the first leg will be returning to North London. Angie's side in the Carabao Cup. They won it back in Season 1. They're aiming to reclaim it this year. And just before... Uh, should we make our final one? Bournemouth? Or should we play another one after this? I think we do one more, actually, after this one coming. So, so one more after one more. So, two more. <laughs> uh, Edward Davey uh, wants a pro deal and happy to give him one. Looks really, really talented. So, we'll get him on the loan this straight after checking his potential. And who was the other one? Oh, Malcolm Cameron also. Was that the uh, high potential centre-back? Yes, it was indeed. 88-94. I, I think he'll have potential, especially. No, we'll check it now. Uh, we'll start off with Malcolm, who has the exciting prospect tag. So not potentially special, but exciting prospect. Even so, really, really solid. And he needs first-team football to get straight on the loan list. And Ed Davies, a winger, isn't he? So let's see his potential. He shows great. So not, not fantastic, but uh, still, we'll try and loan him out anyway. Right, following game, Bournemouth away. They're also off to a great start this season, like us in the top 10. So, well, I was going to say a battle of the informed teams, but we're far from informed. But we could have back-to-back -back wins here, and let's see if we can do it. Come on. Yeah, Williams, well done, mate. A great chance for a quick counter here. Cox rolls for Adebayo. It should be one. And it is crisp, clinical Elijah Adebayo with another 1-0 Luton in front. The question is now, can we hold on? It's Akura. Through to Gavin Kilkenny. Tackled by Cashin. Ireland on Ireland. He'd love to see it. And now Cox to Duke. And Adebayo. To Long. Can he get away? He can. Gabriel. Good stop by Mark Travers. And oh! Could have gone anywhere there. But Bournemouth escape. Come on, boys. I want a second goal and I want to close this out. I need this win. 17 minutes. Slowing it down. The clock is our friend here. As we still lead by one and aim to see out these big... Three points, and that's a great ball by Long to find Cox. And if he keeps on running, he's through. It's Gabriel Long, who should have wrapped it up. Man, precision finishing. That's terrible, isn't it? That's just such an awful shot. Dear, oh dear. As he says, let me have another go. And I'll... <laughs> You know, when Russia invaded Ukraine, I said, lads, do you want me to come in and be a sniper for your charge? They said, no, because you're more likely to hit one of our men, let alone a Russian. <laughs> what was that? Right, calm it down, because there's two minutes to go. We're almost there. And the second goal will wrap it. But I don't think we're going to need one. I think we're going to be all right here. Oh, long with the shield. Long with the shield. He's not going to get a goal, but he's shielded for Cocksmith. And there is the second. No, it's not. And Abayo misses the target. <laughs> but it was at least a little bit closer. But Lou in the back, baby. Lou in the back. Back to back wins. Buzzing winner. Right, final game today. Uh, match day 19 in the Premier League. Let's see if we can close out the episode and the halfway stage of the season with a big three points and three wins on the chart. Come on, Lou. Back to form. Oh, oh no. How's that gone in? How's that going? Murich has done well to start the season off, but that should never go in the post. That's just poor angles. Plenty of time, but I haven't created anything yet. The fitness and fatigue, again, a bit of an issue for us, but we've still got a good team out there. Should we do it better than this? Long, can you dink it in? Yes, you can. Oh, what a ball. Callum. Oh, and Adam Burridge couldn't pull the trigger on time. It's a lovely bit of play there. Just couldn't finish it. 
Hayden Niles to Long. And Danny Loder off the bench. Finds and Panzu. Pelly is going to slide through. He's onside there. There's a man at the far post that was tracking back who kept him on. Oh, what a block. What a block. And oh, what a goal. Danny Loder's first in Premier League football. And it's an absolute belter. Oh, Gabriel Sarah is in a bit of trouble. He's in a bit of trouble. And he's just about got away with it. We're going to try... we going to try and force Norwich to hit it long. We get it back. We'll have a chance to get a second goal in quick succession as well. Duke to Deshari. And I've got Loder with me. And it's Callum O'Hare. Jinking. Shooting. Saved by Angus Gunn. Going through in the late stages. Yes, a ball. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean... Oh, no, no. Oh, Oh, for God's sake. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't sweep things under the rug. So you're going to see it. You're going to see those sort of things. If I've embarrassed myself, you will see it. Oh, that almost went in. Well, it's not the win, but we'll take the point. It's no losses in three and just a one in our last five games. We, we got a foothold. We got a foothold. And that will do it for today's episode, guys. So big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, then please do drop a like. Officially at the halfway stage in the Premier League now. And Luton have dropped outside of the European places after a very poor run of form. But... We're still in the top 10, and that is a marked improvement on the way we started our past two seasons. Have a fantastic day, guys. Much love to you all, and I will see you for the next episode of the EAFC career very soon, where we'll have the Carabao Cup semi against Spurs, both legs, and the January transfer window will open, and I'll see you for it very soon.